Okay, Filippo, um first of all welcome to the Dundalk Football Club. Um it's been a it's been a bit of a crazy week for the club, but first of all can you tell us when did you when did you sort of know that Dundalk were interested in, in bringing you to Ireland? Two days ago. Yeah. It was short notice. Actually three days ago. And uh, from there when I was one of the the coaches that they were they were applying for the job, let's say that. I didn't apply, they called me. Um, but I right after start start to study and work, like if I was the coach. This is how I act. And I start to watch games, I start to make reports to the club, and I start to tell them what I was thinking. And um, I start to prepare if, if, like if I was a coach. And actually, it's like today was the first practice, but it's, it's like if I know them since a while. Yeah. yeah. Was it was it a surprise when you got the the phone call? Yes, it was because you know um, I am the di I was the director of uh, Metoval Academy in New York, and uh, it's been five years, right? I of course I had this year after the COVID I had few you know few opportunity to coach professional even in Italy, right? To have to be assistant somewhere or to coach to have some kind of role. And um, I wasn't thinking like that before. Uh, I was thinking to keep on going with my career in uh, New York and in America. Uh, but then, you know, life is like that. Sometimes opportunities are coming and uh, uh, I, I'm ready. I was ready. I'm ready. I'm always ready. And uh, I like the challenge and I'm going to take this challenge. Yeah. Th tell us a little about yourself because it's 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 an appointment. You're not from Ireland, obviously. You're not from the, the of League course. of Ireland. Can you tell tell the supporters just a little bit about your background? Yeah, I was a professional player. I, soccer is everything in my life. And uh, I played in third division in Italy, but I always played professional. Uh, at the time, also, the league was really good, to be honest. Um and then uh, while I was playing, I took my uh, degree in motor science. I keep on going to study. And then when I stopped to play, you know, I was like, I was thinking to, to do maybe something different, you know, always related to the sport as a, you know, a fitness trainer or something because my study. But then they called me to have, you know, kind of, uh, they give me a coach, coaching position in a semi-professional and I start to work in the semi-professional in Italy and I need few I did few years there and then I worked in a professional club as a U19 coach in Italy and while I was working like that I start to work also with the Similan as a director in the Similan camps and uh, and they start to send me even overseas and then when they start they they send me overseas uh, in New York you know I had an opportunity to stay and I decide to stay um, it was just I was thinking that was an experience uh, because in Italy I was working as a coach etc I was thinking to have a career in Italy uh, but then I decided to stay I said well we try is New York is a big city is something different and and uh, actually went really well and I built a soccer school and then an academy under the federation they called me to be the director and I start this new career for me so I start to study to be a uh, uh, academy director you know to run uh, a program to develop players which to be honest was was really good was really successful because we we build some and develop many players in the club that now they are uh, you know they are in the professional or they they are exposed to the professional environments or they go to high level college uh, this kind of stuff of course it's a different job than work as a manager in a first team which is my first experience to this level. Mm -hmm. I was a manager in a different, in a lower level, but I was a manager. So, at the end, um, if you know soccer, if you know what you're doing, um, which I believe I do, <laughs> then for me it's just a different challenge. And I know this is, a, you know, is a big challenge because I am in another country. And they have a lot of, you know, people are skeptical if the, the word is, is good to say. But, I, I'm taking this challenge. I'm I'm not afraid. I want to just work hard with the with the with the players. And when I become part of a club, this is how I think. This is how I build the culture in my academy. Then it's becoming my family. 
And if he's becoming my family, I'm gonna fight like, like really hard to do well. And to make sure that even players develop, they do, they do good, and uh, I want to make them better. And of course, I want to win games because this is they hired me to win games, and I'm gonna do everything is possible to do that. But also, I want to play good soccer. I want to perform. I don't want to just win like uh, gamble like games. No, I want to be organized. I want to be. I want to have a structure, and uh, and the structure has to be. Inside the field has to be outside the field and and uh, and achieve the objective that the club is asking me through, you know, a performance, a style, a clear style, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you understand that some supporters are concerned that you you might not have the experience to to come into it a, the top league in Ireland and obviously there's Europa League in a couple of weeks as well. Can you understand that? Yeah, of course I understand it. They should be concerned. They should be because. Uh, they are right, but sometimes you know uh, you have also to understand that there are so many coaches around the world that they're really good, but they don't have opportunity. Mm. And I can tell you, I uh, what I do when I have a, when I have time, of course, uh, or when I have free time, I go to watch you know high level coaches go everywhere and in every different level. And you you're not gonna see genius, right? There are people that they work, right? And they have, you know, but I think, I think that uh, a coach that has, you know, has the passion, has the willing to learn and, 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 and um, you know, he knows what is he doing, um, you can coach even a high level like that. I'm, I'm, I, I am not afraid to do that. I take this challenge so, with, I'm so excited and, and uh, I'm pretty confident that we're going to do a good job. Yeah. Yeah. You say you've looked, you've watched a lot of our matches. Yep. What 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 changes do you think you, you'll have to make to get us back winning games? Well, it, it's not about the change because nobody is magic, right? It's just going to be understand and organize what we want to do, mm. right? So it's just about the style. It's it's just about work on what you want to do. Organize the month of, of the periodization, the monthly periodization, the weekly session, and, and make the players understand what you want to do step by step, and then make them feel that this is the right way to play, and understand if they, they can fit there, if they can like that, etc. But nobody invent the wheel in soccer, right? There is, I mean, there is so many ways to win games, there is so many the, the styles, etc. but I'm not going to invent the wheel, I'm gonna work hard and work in the in the in what we decide with the club is the style that fit for this club for this team that that is gonna make them successful but playing good soccer. You had your first training session today, and I think a lot of us probably expected you to come over and sort of watch and see what things were. But you were straight on to the straight on to the training pitch, and you took the session yourself. Yeah, because I I came prepared. Mm. I was prepared. I was I spent time to watch sessions, uh, to watch games, and I knew a little bit the the players. And I I I prepared a, already a, a week week of sessions, and I organized already everything. And I, I don't want to waste time. Uh, and and I said I I have to start. And then and the players they have to feel me. I wanna I wanna. I want to know them, and they have to understand. I want to they feel my voice. I want to I want to they feel my character, and I start to talk with them, and instead to just stay and watch, and because then it was late for tomorrow, so I, I said, okay, so we go, we go straight, and we work hard. That's yeah. it. Your first game is on Sunday yeah. in the cup. It's a very difficult game. It's a a team in the first division. Are you looking forward to it? Of course, yeah, we are looking forward to play this game, like any competition. Um, and we're gonna prepare this week to 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 show up there and be ready. You've obviously got Europa League as well to, to come next month. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure, that's something you're you're looking forward to. Of course, this is another. We have few block, few objectives, right, with the with the club. But we're gonna take this week week by week, step by step, uh, one at a time, without have without panic, without nothing, just work. Be organized, structure, and and keep on going to work hard. What's your hopes, Filippo? Obviously, it's probably a long way back to to 
to get back into the title race with, with only nine league games going to remain in. But what's the hopes? What's the hopes between now and the end of the season? Well, uh, is to of course restart to perform at high level, like the team I think can do, right? And through high high level of performance to get results and do well and make maybe uh, you know to <clears throat> in the league get a better position, right? Try to climb a little bit, mm -hmm. and and of course cup. You go ahead in the cup, and of course our you know maybe bigger objective now for the club is do well in the Europa League. Yeah. Just finally, what sort of football can we expect? What kind of football? What kind of football? What's your what's your philosophy? What's well, is a football. We, we we I spoke with the players. We should you know we should play an, a football that also entertain. But I don't want to say that and and play like and we and don't look to result. It's something that has to be excited to go to watch, right? So intense football with uh, with a good build up with a, uh, and dominate the possession. And then be really, really aggressive and uh, try to have the ball the most, the the, the majority of the time yeah. during the game. Yeah, you sound like you're looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. No, I am excited, and um, and I think today we start with the with the right mentality. Good stuff. Well, the very best of luck to you. Thank you. Thanks a million.